Hey everyone, welcome back to the Privacy Wayfinder. I switched over from Authy to Aegis for my 2FA codes. So I wanted to go over Aegis, do a high level overview. And because it is an offline 2FA code generator, meaning that your codes are not synced to the cloud, I will be showing you my method for transferring the codes between profiles. So let's jump into Aegis. Here you see Aegis has a very clean UI. At the bottom right, there's a plus sign where you can either scan a QR code or enter codes manually. At the top, there are three buttons. The first one is a search button. So if you have a lot of codes, this makes it easy to find your codes. So let's say I wanted to find Google and you can see Google pops up once I start typing in GOO. The next button allows you to sort your codes. So you can choose from sorting by account, sorting by the issuer or your usage count. But what I use is the custom ordering because I like to order my codes manually. Here you can see I have Proton at the top, Google second, and so forth. To move your codes, all you need to do is just long press the code, and then you can drag it. So let's say I wanted Google third instead of second. I can do that, hit the back arrow, and now it's reordered. And the last button here allows you to get to your settings. So you can get to settings, and we can adjust various aspects of Aegis, which is very straightforward, so I won't go through that here. So now the question is, how do I transfer my codes from one profile to another if it's an offline code generator? Well, that's where a USB stick comes in. Plug your USB stick into your phone. And once you have your USB stick in, we'll go to the three dots at the top, hit on settings, click on import and export, and we're going to export the vault. And there are two options with your export. You can export as a .json file or a .txt file. The .json file allows you to download an encrypted backup of your vault, and the .txt file allows you to download a file that has all of your seed codes in plain text. So which is really not recommended, because if you download this to your USB drive, and somehow you lose your USB drive and it gets into the hands of someone, that person can see all of your seed codes and enter those codes into their 2FA app. So what we're going to want to do is download the .json file and the password to decrypt your vault is one that you've set up when you first started Aegis, which I haven't gone through here, but it's very straightforward. So we're going to hit OK. If it doesn't take you straight to the USB drive, you can hit the menu at the top and just choose USB drive. And then we're going to save our vault into here. And at the bottom, the vault has been exported. Let's eject our USB drive. We'll unplug it. Let's switch over to a different profile. So in this case, I'm going to choose my banking profile. And once we're in the profile, we can go to the Aegis app. And at first startup, it's going to ask you a whole bunch of prompts. So go through the prompts. And because our profiles are sandboxed and they don't have access to files in other profiles, you can see that the codes from my owner profile do not show up here. So now to add our codes, we're going to plug in our USB drive, hit the three dots at the top, hit settings, import and export, and we're going to import from file and here it defaults to an Aegis file. So we're going to hit OK, find the USB drive and select the file that you've exported from your owner profile. Enter your Aegis password to decrypt the file, hit OK. And here you have the option to import all of your codes or import just a select few. So let's say I only want to import Proton and Bitwarden. So I'm going to hit the checks at the top to deselect everything. I'll select Proton, Bitwarden, hit the checkbox at the bottom. And we're done. So we go back. And now we have our codes for Proton and Bitwarden. I also recommend keeping a USB drive with this encrypted file somewhere safe so that just in case your phone dies, you can always get your codes back when you get a new phone. I hope this video was useful and I'll see you guys in the next video.